everyone here again, and welcome back to the next episode of the Platypi franchise rebuild here in Super Mega Baseball 4, year number one. Last episode for the Platypi, we had a big back-and-forth offensive slobber knocker with the Blowfish rallying from behind to win in the end, 13-11 to on the road, as rookie reliever Gertie Goatman made his debut and got the victory in relief of other rookie Cecil Sawyer, who was making his first career start and got lit up through four innings, unfortunately. So Goatman went most of the rest of the way to get the victory, and he was relieved by Zumar to get the save. So it was a wonderful win. We beat the 9-2 Blowfish, a team we should have lost to, and are now sitting at 8-3 and three on the year uh, through 11 games played. Game 12 today is against the Sirloins. Uh, don't ignore the schedule of who's scheduled to start. Rusty Nazo will be making the start. Zumar is firmly in the bullpen at this rate. But I, if you notice the title of the stream, we are going to be getting some roster moves made here uh, to fix what's wrong with this team. And uh, we kind of need to do it in order to, you know, max out the given traits that we currently have or are going to have after these roster moves are made. Based on the performances we've seen so far, almost 12 games into the season, almost uh, like 45% of the way through the season, uh, we kind of have a good idea of like who is performing well and who isn't and who needs to get gone in order to free up some money for the player development fund up there because we're at $6.3 million. And uh, as you know, this is a 32-game season. That is not going to cut it. We need a little bit more to... Uh, really develop these young guys that we are bringing into this team to help contribute. So, first things first, I went ahead and looked off stream while I was doing the math in my head to figure out what moves we were going to make. There were no player development or roster moves happening in between after that game. Only thing they are showing is the manager moments from last episode. So, we are good on that front. Nothing we missed there. We will sim up to our game here in a minute. But first, let's do the roster move portion that I've been talking about. So, I was doing this off camera, so I know what moves I'm going to be making. First up, we are going to bring in backup first baseman, young Seb Swolson. He is going to be coming in here, and he is going to replace Linda Hand, who is our rarely used outfielder here off the bench. Um, she's not getting a lot of playing time. Now, this is going to take us down into Tier 2 discipline traits, but we are going to be primarily focused on spirited traits. So we are going to be trying to beef up the yellow uh, chemistry, not the purple, that this team starts out with. Yes, it's going to knock down some really good traits for our bigger guys like Beefcake McStevens, uh, Rory Crowds, but trust me, there is a method to my madness, please. So this frees up $2 million here going to Swolson over Linda Hand. So we're back up to $8.3 million. Our next move is going to be bringing in backup shortstop Dilly Dollar. Now watch carefully, folks. This is where <laughs> this is where shit gets a little funky. So Dilly Dollar comes in as a competitive player. She is coming in. She is evident at the end of everything. Will be replacing Carrie Cartman as the backup middle infielder. Cartman's just not getting any playing time. He's already regressing. It's best to move on from him now. And Dilly Dollar could take over for Charlie Lopez should he regress to the point of almost uselessness. So with the addition of her, she is going to be replacing Remington Sharp. This. There's a method to my madness. Don't panic. This is going to bring us up another almost $3 million. So 2.9 puts us at 11.2. All right. So now with the second move done, now here comes the third move. Now we're going to the bullpen. We're going to get a reliever. And the person we're targeting is... Now I've thought about this. I can either go Horace Heimlich... This will free up more money if we go to Kerry Cartman. We are not cooking stuff back from the stove. <laughs> Sign Blinder is now off because he's disciplined. Uh, Brent Branch is an option. He is also spirited. So is Archie Alonzo, also spirited. So now, which one of these three are we bringing in? So if we do Alonzo, that beefs up another discipline trait, which we're not keen on keeping. So we're going to avoid going after him, although he is the best available. We're going to go with the young man here, Horace Heimlich. You want Archie? Mm. Interesting one, boy, interesting. Do go on. He is the most well-equipped for this, uh, I think, segment right here. Yes, I do need a bullpen arm. That is very true. Now, this is going to cost us a little bit of money, but at the same time, with the moves we made, this will sort out the chemistry. We cut Cartman, who is spirited. I did not think this through properly, did I? No, because I was supposed to cut a competitive player. That's right. Adding a spirited player. Who did I miss? Which one did I miss? 
I had this all thought out in my head and I missed it. What happened? Well, obviously we do need Alonzo because the bullpen's not going to function without him. We could get rid of Lauterbury. That is true. Chance the legend himself, unfortunately. I do need a bullpen armor. Okay. So we want to spend the least amount of money possible. So let's go ahead and cut Cartman here. So this will make Dilly Dow the backup middle infielder. All right. So let's do that. Perfect. We're down to 10-1. And then we need to get one more bullpen arm, I think. I think there was one more move I wanted to make. And I just saw it when I was doing that, when I was looking at the roster. Who was I looking at when I said that? That's right, it was Chance. We're getting rid of Chance Lauterbury. With his reverse splits now down to Tier 1, it's kind of just pretty much useless at this point. With our no longer focusing on discipline traits, that'll take that down off the board as well. So to getting rid of him, we need another bullpen arm here to help us beef up the bullpen. And any of these guys would work, but they specifically need to be spirited. And we want to spend the least amount of money possible. So our choices are either Heimlich, Brent Branch, and that's it, actually. Or uh, RH4, Rob Huntington the fourth. Now, I'm not keen on getting RH4. I love Rob. Don't get me wrong. But I kind of want somebody... Yeah, actually, 6'3". I mean, we used him pretty extensively in the Salty series, so... I'm trying to not focus on the discipline trains because I took that down to Tier 2. Uh, Brent Branch, same thing. He's got that. Rally Stopper. That would be nice on Blinder, but it's not what we're going for here. Kind of want to go Heimlich. What do you think, one boy? Should we go Heimlich here and get some money or and spend the least amount of money possible, or do we go big and go RH4? Let's go RH4. How do I want to play this? I want to play this for development money as much as humanly possible. So... On that logic, I would say going after Heimlich is our best bet because he is the cheapest. And we are getting rid of Lauterbury, who has the least amount of money on the roster at one and a half mil. So we need to make this as less painful as possible for the long run, Horace. That's what I thought. All right, Horace, it is. So we're, we really beefed it up back to 7.5. We had 6.2. So at the end of everything and all the roster move reshuffling, we end up going back up by $1.3 million, which is fine. It's not ideally where I wanted it to be, but there are other possible moves we could be making down the road, money-wise. If we struggle, obviously, uh, Muffin Studwick is replaceable, being a veteran in left field. Roy Crowds has played really well so far this season and would be a suitable replacement. Uh, there is also who else on the bench? Obviously, Charlie Lopez, when he regresses, he'd be an easy one to replace as well with another young middle infielder. Dilly Dollar could step into the role of starter with that great hitting. And she's also a passable fielder and has a really good cannon arm there at shortstop, even better than Charlie. Uh, Sky Rodriguez making $5 million as a backup. We could go younger there at backup third base, obviously, although I love Sky. She is a fantastic power hitter. She's kind of a one-trick pony. And then there's also either cutting Tugboat Thomas. Obviously, when he regresses, he's not going to be much use. Uh, cuffing him would step into the starting role at that point. Plus, we have Hera, who can also do that, but is going to be primarily in right field now. Yeah. So there are other people we can get rid of. Uh, Stuby Tubrick would be another one. He's making $9 million. He's already regressed down to a B overall. Heck, I could get rid of Stuby now, and we could go ahead and bring in someone else. I think we should do that. What do you think, one boy? Let's do it. Not chinning. Oh, God, no. Not chinning. I'm talking Frogo Ball and Standos. Now, Wagyu Jacoby was originally on the list, but being crafty, he's pretty much useless for us at this point. And he's got Kane Neglector now, which makes him not a viable developmental option. However, Frog Ball and Standos, Elite Changeup, boosts up the competitive rating, and he's younger. That Rip Dingers is the best third baseman in the game. You want to put it on record? Okay, you may. We're going to go ahead and get Frogo and get another million dollars back. So we're at eight and a half mil now, especially with Tubrick being injured. We're going to need Frogo to step in and pick up a start here, so... It actually perfectly worked out. We've pretty much overhauled what I wanted to overall here, and we maxed out the spirited traits, which was the big plan coming into this. I would have loved to have kept discipline where it is, and maybe if I cut a competitive player down the road, uh, that would be, we're not cutting so Swolson. Let's see, who else are my options? Dilly Dallar, no, we just got her for a reason. 
uh, Frogga we just picked up, and then the other one is Rufus. Zo Rufus would be the one we would cut. We would bring him in for another bullpen arm and go back up in max tier discipline traits, and then that would allow us to bring in um, one of the discipline relievers. So that would work out. Alrighty, so let's sim up to the next game. Now that we've done all the roster move shuffling we're going to be doing for now, that's four roster moves. Wild Pigs win 4-3, to three, beating the Crocs for us. That was nice of them. Moose drop into the Moonstars with the best third baseman in the league, Rip Dingers. Unfortunately, they lose 9-7. to seven. Overdogs cut off the Hot Corners rally. They win 11-5. to five. Sirloins, who were getting ready to play, just blew out the Saw Teeth, 9-2. to two. Beebles beat the Nemesis, unfortunately, 8-1. to one. Grapplers have rallied to beat the Sandcats, 6-5. to five. Uh, Jacks blew out the Buzzards, 15-2. And uh, Wide Loads beat the Heaters 7-6. to six. And in the final game of the Sim, the Moose rallied to win 2-1 to one over the Grass Eaters, thanks to Lionel Martinez. So this is our scheduled matchup. We are playing the 4-8 and eight Sirloins. Uh, it's going to be Rufus, not Rufus Amar. It's going to be Rusty Nozzle on the mound for us. And on the mound for the Sirloins will be their ace, Manny Kays, unfortunately. So they will have the edge in the pitching matchup. Let me go ahead and shuffle this lineup around here real quick. There we go. Absolutely wonderful. And Rusty Nozzle is making the start today. So Nozzle will be on the mound, one and one with a two four five ERA and a one one six WHIP. With uh, is still with his injury prone trade. His he his start actually got moved back with the addition of Cecil Sawyer, so he got an extra day of rest. And on the mound for the Sirlins is their ace Manny Kays, one and two with a five six two ERA and a one three eight WHIP. Hello, Wild Dog. Welcome in, buddy. Hopefully your day's been going well. Ah. Player development, what do we got? Okay, not giving you Wild Thrower, that is dumb. <laughs> We're not taking away power versus left-hander. We're not giving her bad jumps. Pinch perfect for Charlie. We did say we wanted to buy this, and now with the extra influx of cash coming through, we will be able to. Chance to gain Steeler on crowds. I'm not a big fan of Steeler with us not having any crafty players on the roster, but... The extra contact is going to be nice for him. So that's a big, these two are big ups right here. I'm going to save on crowds here because it's only at 6%. This one's at 30. We're picking this up now. It has good to hear, good to hear. Mine's been all right. Today was a great day at work. I literally went to work and it was the best day you could ask for. Everyone was at work today. It was our overlap day where all the shifts worked together and like work on the same day. I did not get a single call of service all day. It was a wonderful day for not only myself, but the city of Baltimore in general. So it was awesome. Three fielding up to plus 87 here. We get the bonus five on Charlie. He's now up to 92. And he does not get pinch perfect, though. I would have much rather had pinch perfect on him considering his possible regression. But it's nice to see the old dog still got some tricks up his sleeve. That's all wonderful. We're going to get Rory's after the next game. All right, lineup we'll use leading off in left field, Muffin Studwick. Batting second, DHing will be Sky Rodriguez with a lefty on the mound despite being tense. Batting third at third base, locked in Beefcake McStevens. Batting second, yeah, fourth in center field, hi, um, hey, I'm calling her, coming off a two homer game. Batting fifth, locked in first baseman, Peak Physique, coming off a three homer game. Batting sixth, locked in at second base, will be Charlie Lopez. Batting seventh, making her debut, rookie shortstop Dilly Daller, getting the start because Kaufman is on the bench. Batting 8th, taking duty in right field is Hera O'Wugliams, and batting ninth is the catcher, rookie Camilla Cuffingham. On the mound, players line up for the Sirloins, leading off on fire, second baseman Lloyd Cook. Batting 2nd is first baseman uh, Kat Stanza, locked in. Batting 3rd, locked in left fielder Filet Jones. Batting 4th is right fielder cover athlete Hammer Long Ballo. Batting 5th, shortstop Willard Wiggins. Batting 6th, D.H. McSteel. Batting 7th is catcher Preston Adonimus. Batting 8th at 3rd base is 10th Boomer Platoon, getting the start over Madoka Hayata. And batting 9th is center fielder Damian... Uh, is it Damien? Yes, Damien Rush. I should know that by now. Let's jump into it and have some fun here as we head to Apple Field for today's game. You sent me a limp. Ooh, okay. What do you got for me? What happened? Pitchers are athletes. Okay, go on. Throw ball down. Okay, all right. Oh, your pitcher went yard. No way. No way. Oh, yes, that's awesome. Great job, dude. That's awesome. You love to see that. It's not often pitchers go yard in the game, and when they do, it is just a magical moment. 8-1. to one. You were up big at that point. You almost blew that, by the way, on 93 Ego. Oh, jeez. 
Lovely. That is awesome to see, dude. Congrats. All right, we're chat's reconnected so I can see the chat again. All right, Muffin Stubwick leading off here, hitting 392 with three RBIs on the air, facing Manny Kays. Manny on the season has made three starts. He's 1-2, 562 ERA and a 138 whip, 11 runs given up, 10 earned, and 16 innings pitched. Uh, he has given up, looks like an average. He's pitched about five and a third innings to start, 15 hits surrendered, seven walks, a homer, four hit batsman, five strikeouts, and a batting average against a 242. Not exactly elite numbers you would expect from an ace pitcher such as Kays caliber. Fastball hitter versus the lead two-seamer. Let's see what happens here. And the heater is in there at the knees on the first pitch, 0-1. Heater away is lined over first, leaping his stanza to take it out of the air. One down. Next up, DH Sky Rodriguez. She's tense, but contact versus lefty Max Boosted is up here, hitting 200. Two RBIs on the season. Using me down and in, taking low, ball one. Heater up, hard chopper to second, backhanded by Cook. Throw on to first in time. Two down. Base is empty. Beefcake from Stevens. Locked in. Hitting 531 with four homers. 11 RBIs. He now has max boosted power versus left hander instead of max boosted high pitch. He's locked in though still. Homered last game as well. Heater up. Taking high. Ball one. Heater up. Line to second. Right at Cook. And that ends the inning. 1-2-3 inning for Manny Kays as he's easily through the first. Bottom one, Cook, Stanza, and Jones do up against Rusty Nozzle. Boy Cook leading off. He's on fire. Second baseman is high pitch active here, hitting 289 with a homer. Five RBIs facing Rusty Nozzle. Rusty on the air. Man, look how empty this pitching roster thing is. We're missing uh, one starting pitcher and uh, two relievers. <laughs> Nozzle won a moment with a 245 ERA and a 116 whip. Four and runs given up in two starts. 14 and two thirds innings pitched. 14 hits surrendered. Three walks, four strikeouts, one complete game. Batting average against 264. Cutter middle in on the first pitch. Off the plate. Ball one. Forcing me down in the way. Taking low. 2 0. Roll down and in. That's a strike call at the knees. 2 1 the count. I just said, F it, let him swing. <laughs> nice. <laughs> and you still almost blew the game. Curveball down and in. 2 1 rip foul. 2 2 the count. Forcing me down in the way. That's fouled off. Count remains at 2 2. Cut her down in the way. Hit at the middle. That is past Lopez in the right center. It's a base hit. Lead off single here for Cook. That's the first hit of the game for either team. Here's Kat Stanza. First baseman on fire. Hitting 250. Two homers. Four RBIs on the air. Good speed over at first base here. Pick off first. Nothing doing. Is Cook back safely? How does one get fired with two players? Well, it happens. Well, Stanza made the leaping catch on the first out of the game, although it wasn't really a big leap. It still counted as a spectacular catch. So she went from locked in to on fire immediately. Pitch out, nothing doing. Her ball middle in, check swing strike to the knees, 1-1. One, one. Cut her outside, misses, 2-1. Fire down the wave, outside, throw down by cuffing him, no chance. Cook easily steals second. Lloyd's second steal of the year, he's two for two. Three one count here to stands. Oh, pardon me. Forcing it down and in. Grounded lined up to second, past the diving Lopez into right field. Cook will hold a third. Good throw from O. Wugliams. Runners at the corners, nobody out. That'll bring up left fielder Filet Jones, who's locked in, hitting a buck 94 on the year with a homer. Six RBIs. Bit of a slow start here for Filet, but he's currently trending in the correct direction. Let's see if he gets back above the Mendoza line today. Slider down in the way in the first pitch off the plate. Ball one. Goes him down and in. Check swing strike. It's 1-1. One, one. Roll down in the way. Line to short right at Dowler for the first out. Runner still at the corners for cover athlete Hammer Long Ballo. Right fielder has power versus right hander and fastball hitter both active here. Hitting 362 with four homers and seven RBIs on the year. Good start to the year for Hammer. Trying to add to his RBI total here. Slider inside, almost kneecapped him, ball one. Well down in the way. 
Grounded the third, picked by McStevens, throw to second one. Lopez the first, double play, love to see it. Nozzle gets out of the jam to the second. Colin of physique and Lopez do up. Good turn around the horn, we love it. Hey, I'm Colin, or leading off. Rookie center fielder hit two homers last game. He's locked in, hitting 667 with three homers and five RBIs. So far, he's homered in both of his first two appearances this year. Heater in there at the knees, 0-1. Ooh, out in front of that changeup, ripped it foul, 0-2. Double down, that's low, just missing, 1-2. Heater down and then, Jopper into second, it jammed him. Cook makes the play, one down. I read circle and say out loud, knock down the middle, please. <laughs> One of the funniest parts of that game when I wanted the fastball down, like below the zone, it's like right down the middle. Guess where the game put that pitch? Right down the middle. Yep. Happens every goddamn time. <laughs> Peak physique up next. Rookie hit three home runs last game. He was a big part of the reason why we won that game. He too is homered in two of he's actually homered in two of his first three games. He's locked in. 462 average, four homers, seven RBIs. Change up up at the top of the zone. Line to the gap right center field on the first pitch. That's extra bases, and that's our first hit of the day. Fizico Cruz into second with a one-out double. Right down the in middle. Two-run shot. Yep. Well, on the bright side, it wasn't a grand slam. Charlie Lopez up next. Second baseman locked in, hitting 467. No homers. 11 RBIs on the air with Ace Exterminator also active here for Charlie. Trouble down. Line to second. Right at Cook for the second out. Here's Dilly Dow, the rookie shortstop, making her Dilly debut today. This is her first career at bat. I see she can drive on her first run. Hey, Macha, welcome in, buddy. Welcome in. Hope your day's been going well as well. My week has been fantastic. Thank you for asking. Hopefully yours was as well, my friend. Down and in with that one first pitch change. It pulled out of play. That it will get to the stand. So one. Just under it. Peter up, chased it out of the zone. It's quickly 0-2. Peter away, line to first. Right at Stanza, though, and that ends the inning, unfortunately. Not bad. Just got back from a work trip and taking tomorrow off. Lovely. I'm already off tomorrow as well, although I'm only off two days this weekend. I'm off tomorrow, and I'm off Saturday, and then i got to start working weekends, so I work Sunday, Monday. Ugh. One year of asking for Stadium Creator. Yep, it's officially been a year as of today. How's the pool coming along? Not well. We have made absolutely zero progress since my last update. <laughs> uh, we'll get to it eventually, I'm sure. <laughs> Wiggins leading off the second inning here for the Sirloins, hitting 233. Three RBIs on the air. Heater down on the way, taking low. Ball one. Yeah, eventually. Yeah, we bought an above-ground pool off of Facebook Marketplace, so that's currently chilling in my backyard waiting to be put together. Curveball taken low, 2-0 the count here. Cut her up. That's high, 3-0. Heater down the middle. No swing, 3-1. He was taking all the way, thank God. Slider down the way. Check strike, called at the knees, full count. Curveball inside, chased it off the plate, strike three. First punch up our nozzle, one down. You get that, yeah. A lot of time to invest. Indeed. It is going to be a multiple day project, most likely. <laughs> Mick Steele up, hitting 231. Two RBIs on the year. I believe he is playing DH today, is he? He is. Okay. Start him off with a breaking pitch here. Curve ball down and then off the plate, ball one. Slider up and away, outside, 2 0. Curve down and away. That's a strike in there at the knees, 2 1. Was him down and in. Chopper in front of the mound. Nozzle off on the bare hand. Fires the first. Two down. And here is Preston Adonimus. Catcher hitting 310. Four RBIs on the air. Cutter up. Checks high. Strike called. 0 1. Was him down and in. Chased it foul. It's 0 2. Dribble down the way. Check low, strike three called. Cuffing him, picks it, fires to the plate, and that ends, fires to the first, actually, and that's in time to end the inning. Odd, if he was caught looking 
and he had to run the first. That means he actually checked his swing and they called it a strike anyway. <laughs> I think it's the first time I've seen that. Second punch out for Nozzle. It's a one, two, three inning to the third. A Wugliams cuffing him and Studwick. Number 29, Hera. Right fielder Harrell. Wugliams leading off. Off speed hitter hitting 278 on the year with six RBIs. See how she does here against Kays. Heater away, late swing, 0-1. Oh, that's high on the heater, taken out of the zone, 1-1. One, one. Curveball up, that's apparently a strike, 1-2. and two. Curveball up and away, grounder to second on the pull shot, Cook there, one down. Angel Hernandez moment right there. Basically, there's no other way to explain it. Rookie catcher Camille cuffing him up next, batting ninth today. Taking the first pitch curveball high out of the zone for ball one, hitting two for seven on the air, 286 batting average with one RBI. Change it down in the way, pulled on the ground to third. Platoon there makes the stop, two down. Hey, Lawai, welcome in, buddy. Welcome in. Hopefully your day's been going well as well. Nice to have most of the gang here. <laughs> no, uh, he's here. He's here. <laughs> Studwick here, heater up and in, strike call to one. I'm doing all right, man. I'm doing all right. Thanks for asking. <laughs> He's here. Just give him a minute. <laughs> strike up and in on the first one, oh one. Curve down on the way, popper to short. That's an easy catch for Wiggins. That's a one, two, three inning. To the third. Bottom half, we're still scoreless. Platoon, Rush, and Cook coming up. Love to hear it. Indeed, indeed. Don't write and ruin the vibe. <laughs> We're doing great, Patrick. Oof. Here's Boomer Platoon batting eighth today. Third baseman is tenth. 32 39 with a homer, three RBIs. He's getting the start over uh, Madoka Hayata today at third base. Uh, catch you up, guys. Uh, we did make a couple roster moves before the game started. Uh, one boy was here for them, but I'll uh, give you a quick rundown. We made four roster moves. New additions to the team include rookie middle infielder Dilly Daller. She is backing up uh, Charlie Lopez and Kitty Kaufman. Uh, she replaces Kerry Cartman on the roster. On the offensive side of things, we also bring in backup first baseman from the Reapers franchise, Seb Swolson. He is replacing Linda Hand. Moving to the pitching, Frogo Ball and Standos has been signed to replace veteran Stuby Tuberk, who got injured his last start, taking the line drive to the face. And then we also, moving into the bullpen, bring in rookie Archie Alonzo. He replaces Remington Sharp. And we also bring in Horace Heimlich, also from the Reapers series. He replaces Chance Lauderbury. So we have made, uh, so that's five roster moves, actually. We made a couple bit. We are now maxed out in spirited traits instead of discipline. That had to take a nosedive down to tier two. But we now have more of our more powerful traits at max boosting. Frogo and Heilick are pieces of crap. <laughs> you really thought? <laughs> two good ones, a mid one, and two trash ones. Yeah, I figured Dilly would be good because she's a quality backup middle infield option that could step in as starting shortstop if Charlie regresses too hard. Or, you know, he dives and, you know, throws out his shoulder, of course, you know, like he did one time. Cut her up, taken high and away. Ball one. Made my life a living hell. Heater down in the way, fouled off one and one because I was playing against that bastard and continued to make play after play after play. <laughs> Pissed me off. Oh, he cost us that win. Cut her up and in, fouled back, one and two. Oh, here we go. Curveball down in the way. That is chopped back up the middle. Nozzle on the easy field. Juan to first, one down. Damien Rush up, nine hitter in his center, hitting 275 with a homer, four RBIs. Cut up and away in the first pitch. Check strike call, 0 1. Forcing up and in. Off the plate high, one and one. Slider away. That's a strike, one and two. Nice pitch there, Rusty. Cut her down in the way. A curveball down in the way. Sorry, that's lined in the gap left center. Calling her over to cut it off. That'll hold Rust to just a single. One out knock here for the center fielder with great speed. And we'll flip back to the top of the Sirloins lineup with on fire Lloyd Cook, who's one for one with a single and a stolen base today. Ended it all after Oakley retired. Oh, geez. Oh, 
Goes to mid the knees on the first pitch, chopped at third. Beefcake dives, nice play. Takes the throw to first in time to get the speedy cook. Two down, we were not turning two on that one. Rush has sprinters, so not worth it. He is at second in scoring position for Kat Stanzu, who also singled her first time up and then was erased on a double play ball. Also on fire. Dribble down and in on the first pitch. That's chopped in the hold of second. Lopez over. Flip the first in time, and that ends the inning. Nice pitching, Rusty. To the fourth, we're still scoreless. Rodriguez, McStevens, and Collin are hard of the lineup coming up for the Platypie. Play XBL, come on, you got it. <laughs> uh, so, are you Stanza uh, made a nice leaping play in the, on the first play of the game in the field. So she got them boost up to on fire immediately. She was already locked in. Rodriguez up over one today with a ground out to second her first time up. Peter high, taken out of the zone. Ball one. Peter up and in is inside. 2 0 the count. Peter down and then missed it on the swing. 2 1. Load was too slow on that one. Change up. Oh, you got me, you bastard. If that was a heater, it's gone. <laughs> Alrighty, 2 2 count. Heater down, chased it, strike three. First punch up for K's, one down. Beef kick up next, he's 0 for 1 today. Lined out his first time up the first base. He's locked in though. Change it down and then turned on by Beefcake deep to left field. That is not coming back. Crikey, it has been sent to the land down under. McStevens turns on a low inside changeup, puts it in the seats. Fifth home run of the year for the captain. It is 1-0, Mc, uh, Platypie. Now batting, center fielder, number 51, Am Oliner. Don't hit a home run challenge, impossible. And now Colin are up. He's 0 for 1, but locked in still. Yeah, that was down and in. He just turned on that change, I think. Yep, it was a change. He was ready for it. That's just Beefcake doing Beefcake things. Either way, lined over first. Over the leaping glove of Stanza. It's a base hit. Colliner gets his first hit. Inning continues for rookie peak physique. He's still locked in. He doubled his first plate appearance. Then was stranded on the base paths. Colliner at first with good speed. Pick off to first. Back safely is Colliner. Peter up. Oh, I missed it, you bastard. 0-1. Oh, Peter down and then jam shot the right center on the sky ball. That's a tough play, and I forgot there's one out. Rush made the catch. Throw back the first. Not in time. Thank Christ. I almost fucked us out of that inning. Two down. Here's Charlie Lopez locked in 0-1. for The sheer panic there when I realized, oh, fuck, it's one out. <laughs> Get back. <laughs> All right, Charlie. It's your shot, buddy. Heater up, taken high, ball one. Long look at first. Oh, I missed that heater, late swing, one and one. Pitch out, nothing doing, two one. Pick off, nothing doing, still two one. There he goes, heater up, taken high, throw down to second is Lay. Colliner steals second, he's on fire. Colliner's first career steal, he's one for one. 3-1 count out of Lopez. Good hitters count. Let's see if he gets a pitch to turn on. Late on it, of course. Full count. And chased it inside strike three. Second punch out for K's. That ends the inning. Forgot there was two outs in the second base. Was trying to get the ball. Yeah. <laughs> oh, man. That is classic. Bottom four, we're up 1-0 after the homer by McStevens. Filet Jones leads off as it's the heart of the Sirloins lineup. Jones, I believe, struck out, as, or lined out actually short his first time up. Forcing her middle in. Thank God that wasn't down the middle. Ball one. Cutter up and away. Jones takes strike call, 1-1. One one. Slider down and away. Fouled off, 1-2. Up and away. Blew it by him, strike three. Third punch out for Nozzle. Fooled the shit out of that guy. Here's Longballo, 0 for 1 today. He grounded into a double play his first time up, dropping him down to neutral mojo. Lopez, you bum. <laughs> I'm shocked how Charlie moves that fat ass like 30, 
38. He's 38. Get it right. <laughs> Making plays like hot damn. <laughs> Curveball down in the way in the first pitch to Hammer. Strike called at the knees. Nice pitch, Rusty. 0-1. Let's give him another one. Curveball inside. Ooh. Ooh, a little too spicy. He almost went for it. 1-1. Right up and away. Popped him up. Nozzle off the mound. Behind it. To his right. Puts it away. Two down. Here's Wiggins. 0-1. Better up in the first pitch. Strike call to one. I believe Wiggins struck out his first time up. Boys him down and then checked inside. One and one. Slotted down in the way. Chow grounded the short. Dowler to her left. Cuts it off. Fires the first. Got him. No, no sweat there. One, two, three inning here to the fifth. It's one nil. Dowler. Oh, Wugliams and cuffing him. Do up. Charlie is a certified SCP. I don't understand that man. F the sirloins, indeed. I drink to that. <laughs> Dilly Dowler up, rookies over one today with a ground at her first time up. Peter Denise lined to second, but right at Cook, one down. That one was Cook, but right at the chef, unfortunately. Here's a Wugliams over one today. Destroy them and their families. Well, hold on, can we spare the families? They're nice people. <laughs> All right, come on, Hare. First pitch in there at the letters on the change, 0-1. Chase the heater high, fouled back, it's 0-2. Heater up and away, hit up the third baseline, diving his platoon to rob it, throw across the first, in time! What a play from the old man, two down, and here's Cuffingham 0-1. for one. We go dig! <laughs> Family's gotta go, oh geez. <laughs> Peter in there on the inside corner, apparently. 0-1. Oh, okay, Angel, whatever. 0-1. Oh, That's high on the two-seamer. 1-1. One, one. I chased that one. That's on me. Changeup was way in the dirt. 1-2. Curve down and then pulled over third. D uh, unnecessary dive for Boomer, but got to get the exercise in. 1-2. I'm betting high. And I'm late anyway. Strike three. Third punch out for Kays. That ends the inning. Bottom five, it's halfway home. We're in a pitcher's duel, folks. It's 1-0. Steel, Adonimus, and Platoon do up. I'm a bit surprised you didn't replace Sky with the roster move. She's not even hitting well and can't field. Yeah, but I love Sky. I need Sky for the chemistry. Right now, that's the only reason she's still here. Mix Steel up, 0 for 1. If I could wanted to, I could go for max discipline as well, but it would require me to cut uh, Rufus Zumar, and right now I need him in the bullpen with the way it is right now. Chemistry, chemistry, but that's where my best traits are, the spirited section. <laughs> I'll need to find a spirited third baseman. <laughs> and there's pickings are slim. Heater down and into steel, diving Dowler just out of her reach at the base hit. Charlie would have gotten that. That is a leadoff knock for the big man, Mick Steele, as the blonde guy's on at first. And here's Adonimus, fat ass is over one. He got caught chasing a curveball in the dirt his first time up. I'm at 90. Yes, I know. Being at 90 is awesome. Yeah, Sky is spirited as well. Only this is a B3 here in Kara just killed. Oh, dear God, not Kara. Well, down in the way. Don't remind me of the uh, the freaking murder job they did on her ratings. That's down, or age as well. That's uh, curveball at the knees on the first pitch to Adonimus. So one. Cut her up and in. That's high out of the zone. 1-1. One, one. Slide it down and then chased it. Oh, no, you didn't chase it? Okay. You called it a strike last time, bro. 2 1. Where's her away? Fouled back, thank God. Whew, 2 2. They murdered her, bro. Like my only righty killer. Yeah, they did kill Grace. They just aged her up horribly. Dexter. Yeah. Serial murdered. Everything you love and hold dear. First guns, then Lupinovich. Like. And they didn't even murder Lana Rhymes for you either. They just kept her crap. She's still crap. Jermaine is still crap. At least Walker got debuffed, but at what cost? <laughs> and Brickhouse, too. He also got de aged. Better open in. Off the plate. Full count. Good take. 
Bowers in their way. Blew it by him, strike three. Fourth punch out for Rusty, one down. There's Platoon, 0 for 1 today. Is that his fourth or his fifth? I have to check. Sorry, guys, I lost count. Uh, it is his fourth. Okay, good. All right, Boomer. You made a nice play in the field, but can you hit? Or is he down in the way in the first one? Foul back, 0-1. Runner at first, still one down. There's no threat to run over there at first base, although cuffing him is behind the plate, so no promises. Triple down and in. Low and inside, 1-1. One, one. Cutter up and away. Blew it by him, 1-2. Slider down. Lined over third, just foul. That would have been extra bases. Count remains 1-2. and two. Where's he moving in? Chase jammed foul. We'll stay alive. Count remains 1-2. and two. Get ball down and in. Low and inside. Good take. 2-2. Two, two. Get up and away. Chased it. Strike three. Fifth punch out for a nozzle. Two down. I wonder who decided on these murders. They must be tracked down and sentenced to death via being a Freebirders fan. <laughs> Damien Rush up next. One for one with a single today. Better been away in the first one. Check strike. 0 1. Ladder hangs, and that's not coming back. That was a red ball, and that's long gone and flambéed. Or I guess seared would be the more correct thing, but Damien Rush puts that out, and that was a rush order indeed. Second of the year for Damien, and the Serlins take a 2 1 lead on the one bad pitch nozzles thrown all day. <laughs> That is a fate I do not wish on my worst enemy. <laughs> Lloyd Cook up, one for two with a single. Cut her down and away on the first one, taking low, ball one. Nozzle no longer locked in as that heater's outside, 2-0. -oh. Ball down, taking low, it's 3-0, -oh. very quickly falling behind. I'm going to see if I can tempt him to swing at this. Cut up and away. Thank you for not being a dick, 3-1. Ladder at the knees, check strike, full count. The ball down on the way. Lined in the left field at the base hit. Cook keeps the inning alive with that two out knock. And that'll extend the inning for Stanza. Is the sorrel in the front or the back of the count? That is a good question. I always thought it was a flank. Stanza up, one for two today with a single, trying to keep the rally going here in the fifth. Pick off the first, nothing doing. Just get injured already, you idiot. I'm not sure, actually. Now I've got to check. I'm curious. Pause We're, for science. I need to look this up. All right, I've got a beef chart. Hold on. All right, so sirloin is... It is on the side of the cow, and it is towards the back of the plate. It's not the buttocks area. It's the one top area above the uh, stomachs on the side that is the uh, back half of the chest area, it looks like, or abdomen. So it is on the flank, so I was right. Good. Certainly it's like a T-bone. I'm not sure. It might be. T-bone might be a bigger version of this. This is part of the YouTube video where I skip forward 60 seconds. Yep. All right, science, uh, experiment, science research is over. First pitch curveball down in the way to Stanza. Ripped foul on the first base side. Nice dive, peak, 0-1. Good reactions. Peter down and in. Chopper to third. Beefcake charges, fires the first. That ends the inning. But the one mistake pitch bites Nozzle in the ass. He serves up a hanging slider. That cement mixer is put over the left center wall by Damian Rush. 2-1 to the sixth. Serling the lead. Studwick, Rodriguez, and McStevens coming up. Can the top of the lineup break through against K's? I always enjoy these little Google, Google adventures myself, like who was the tallest catcher? Oh yeah, that's right. I remember that one. That was a solid one. Stubbick leading off here in the sixth. Is I got to bring the chat back up here? <laughs> or the fattest, maybe. I always thought it was uh, Benji Molina. Heater up, ripped up the middle on the base, knock just past the diving cook into right center. Nice swing muffin. That's a leadoff knock. Okay, that's a start. That's the start. 
designated hitter, number 50. Sky. <laughs> the one boy wins. Nice. All right, Sky, come on. 0 for 2 today. Sky's lined out and grounded out. Peter at the knees, hard rip up the middle, past the diving shortstop into left of center. Rush there to cut it off, runner heading for third. Studwick got a hurry, throw in is late. It was a floating balloon there from Rush. And that allowed Rodriguez to stretch it to a double. Two in scoring position now, here we go. Beefcake McStevens, he homered his first time up on a down and in changeup. One for two today, he's also lined out. Powers lefty, high pitch active against Kays. Can we break through? This is our moment. Popped him up the deep center. That might be deep enough to score Studwick. Rush makes the catch. Both runners are tagging. The throw is coming to the plate. It is late. It is a sack fly for McStevens. We're tied at two. Rodriguez to third. Not going to lie, could you imagine the glutes on some catchers crouching that long? Yeah, they've got to be some massively developed muscles. And now, hey, I'm calling her coming to the plate with max boosted RBI hero. Singled last time up. He's one for two. He also stole a base. He's on fire. Okay, Colliner. Show him what you got, Rook. For about the knees. That's ripped to left field on the line. Right at Jones on the slide. Nice catch. But noodle arm activates. It's a sack fly. Rodriguez scores. Three to two. We take the lead. Next up, Peak Physique. One for two with a double. Lined out last time up. He is locked in. Peter down at the knees. Strike called. 0-1. Curveball checked in there, 0-2. Froze me on that one. Curveball down and then fouled back, it's 0-2. Peter down in the way, high hopper to first. Stands up, back pedals to make the play. Throw to first in time to end the inning. If that had gotten over her head, I would have laughed my ass off. Two score on back-to-back -back sack flies, though, by McStevens and Colliner. 3-2 to the bottom of the six. Jones, long ball, and Wiggins. Hard to line up up. Nozzle trying to go for the quality start here. He runs into trouble, we go to the bullpen, no questions. Don't even need to wear a cup of those giant bronze balls they got. <laughs> Here's Jones, 0 for 2 today. Made a nice catch in the field though, so he stays locked in. First pitch curveball misses low on the red ball, thank God, ball one. Peter up and in, off the plate, 2-0. Slider down and in, that misses low, 3-0. Better up and away. Ball four just outside. Nozzle's first walk of the day. He's done, though. Leadoff walk will signal the end of his day as we're going to the pen. Solid five-plus innings of work here today from Nozzle, giving up two earned runs on a homer. Six total hits, one walk, five strikeouts. Not a bad outing, Rusty. Not a bad outing. Just ran the pitch count up a little too high today. So we have Rufus available. We have Indier available. Goatman is a no-go. We have Alonzo, who's fresh, and we have Heimlich, who's also fresh. Based on those available, we're going to go to the rookie. Archie Alonzo is going to come out of the bullpen making his debut, the 27-year-old with Composed, the junk baller. Did they ever say why they decided to make Hammer the cover athlete for this game? He isn't the first player that comes to mind. Well, they used Dexteras already in SMB2, so he was automatically out. I believe they used Hammer back in SMB1 as well, if I remember correctly. And uh, SMB3, they never specifically stated who the cover athlete was in that one. I think Hammer just seemed to be like the... I think he's like the SMB comparative to uh, David Ortiz, I think is what they were going for there, just based on, you know, his personality, his hitting style. They're both lefty, left-handed hitters. They both mash. Like, they're predominantly known for their hitting more than their fielding. He's basically the face of the game, yeah. It's a hark back to SMB1 if I had to guess because he was the original cover athlete. Peter down in the way in the first pitch. Check swing strike. Alonzo gets ahead. 0-1. Slider up and in. Strike called. 0-2. Nice bender there. Curveball down and in. Ooh, way off the plate. 1-2. Slider down in the way. Line to third. Right at Beefcake for the first out. Ortiz fighting the O's pitch with the glasses. Yeah, Kevin Gregg could not throw a fucking punch to save his life. He is a pansy. Oh, my God. He instigated that shit, too. And I'm like, David Ortiz about to whip his ass. <laughs> of all the guys you pick a fight with on the Red Sox, you don't fight with David Ortiz and you don't fight with Manny Ramirez or Dustin Pedroia. All three of them would kick your ass. <laughs> 
And he's like, you pick the big guy, of course. Uh, Wiggins up. I believe he's over two today. There's that first pitch curveball misses low. Ball one. Peter down and then chopped the third. Beef kick on the backhand. The second one. Lopez the first around the horn. Double play. You love to see it as Alonzo gets out of the jam to the seventh. It's 3 2. Lopez, Dowler, and O'Wugliams coming up. I did see what he did to the phone. I was watching that game on TV actually when he did that. I'm like, holy shit, this guy has anger issues. <laughs> Lopez up 0 for 2 today. I think he was already thrown out of the game anyway, so he's like, fuck it, I don't care. I love how the Orioles decided to get him back by repairing the phone and giving it back to him as his retirement present when he came back in his last year. <laughs> that was funny. <laughs> it's nice to show that our guys were always watching. But yeah, uh, so fun fact, that Kevin Gregg fight with, my, with David Ortiz is actually started a chant my father and I came up with just to piss off my brother <laughs> anytime he started to annoy us right after that we would say Eric wants a Kevin Gregg jersey and it would just piss him off because he absolutely hated Kevin Gregg oh god come on Charlie curveball misses outside on the first one ball one Change up. Ripped up the third baseline. Fair ball for Charlie into the corner. That's going to be extra bases. Uh, Filet Jones has no arm, and he's in the dead corner. And it smacks off the wall. It ricochets from everybody. Lopez is going to have a Little League home run. Crikey, it's been sent to the land down under. Only Charlie Lopez could get this kind of luck. It is 4-2. to two. They fucked it. <laughs> that is the second time I've seen that happen. I knew it was coming too, and I really hoped it did. I'm like, he's gonna have Noodle Arm activate, and he's gonna hit the wall. And he did both. I'm so happy. <laughs> the only other time I've seen that happen was in a custom SMB3 baseball league I was in. And uh, my team was playing, uh, we were in a playoff game actually, and we hit a ball, we were playing at motor yard, and we were hit a ball into the right field corner, or we were at a, was with, I think it was at Shaka actually, and you know how that one wall sticks out on the side? Hit a ball into the corner, right field, smacked the wall, our guy got it inside the park home run and won the game. <laughs> Charlie Lopez and his sorcery. <laughs> that was the peak of Greg's career, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, Charlie, never change. All right, Dilly Dowler, let's go, Rook. Change up at the knees, pulled deep to left center, but under it. And Flay Jones is going to make up for his kerfuffle. He'll put it away, one down. If he had proceeded to drop that fly ball, he just needs to retire at this point. I don't care how young you are, Flay, you got to retire. <laughs> you would get booed off the field so quick here in this New York City environment. Yeah, it's not coming up. <laughs> ah, here we go. Oh, did you clip it? Oh, good. This is going on Reddit. This is going on Reddit. This is perfect. Oh, you won in the chat against the Y. Oh, Jesus. Oh, you went with the World Series rings for the Mariners. Come on, man. <laughs> okay. All right. Speak of Reddit, I just had a Reddit notification pop up. <laughs> what are the odds? <laughs> Oh, God, I love this game. I hope it never changes. Anyway, Hera up 0 for 2 today as well. She is hitless. Heater inside, late swing, 0-1. Heater away, chopped hard to third. Platoon dives to his left, throw to first. Again, he robs O'Wugliams of a base hit. Cuffing him up next, rookie catcher 0 for 2 today in tense. K's back up to neutral. Heater down in the way, chased low, 0-1. Curve ball in, inside, 1-1 one one off the plate. Change up and away, pulled on the ground, a short diving Wiggins in the hole, nice dive, wizard play, throw to first, lead, it's an infield single, cuffing him, beats it out. You clipped it too? No, it doesn't work, you have to send it to me in the DMs. Yeah, I don't know why it doesn't work in my chat, I just, I don't know. Couldn't tell you. <laughs> Studwick up, one for three with a single last plate appearance. And chases that below the knees, oh, we almost ran on that. <laughs> you almost got me. <laughs> That's low, oh, one. 
Change of way outside, one and one. Change of way, dribbler back to the mound. Kays gets the out at first to end the inning as he's pissed off from the shenanigans. But Charlie frickin' Lopez and his goddamn pelvic sorcery has hit an inside the park home run on only the, the most unbelievable odds of hitting a ball into the left field corner. Jones with noodle arm gets it. He's stuck phasing in behind the wall throws it in, noodle arm activates, it smacks the ball and ricochets into left center field where nobody's standing. <laughs> Yankees fans are brutal. I don't think, I don't know, he has PTSD from that crap, yep. <laughs> Let's go, Alonzo. Steel singled last time up, one for two today as that heater's down and in on the corner, a one. Curveball down and away, chopped through the middle, that is a seeing eye knock as Archie Alonzo gives up his first career hit here in this series. Or first hit against him, I should say. Preston Adonimus up next. Catcher 0 for 2 today. He's tense. Fun fact, Alonzo was in our Saute series very briefly. He was one of the guys we were trying out in that series, and he did not work out. He was also in our Freebooters Major League Major Leaguer Shuffle Draft series as well that he also did not work out in either. Isaiah Counter for Leffa being Isaiah Counter for Leffa. Yep. Aptly put. Curve ball up and in strike, slider up and in strike called 0 1. I should have listened to the rest of that. I want to know what the debilitating fear of was for Moonshotta. Curve ball at the knees, check strike 0 2. Peter up and away. High, 1 and 2. Almost got him to chase it. Slider away. Chased, fouled back, 1 and 2. Curve ball down and in. Chased it, strike 3. First career punch out for Alonzo. Let's get that ball for you, Rook. One down, here's Platoon, 0 for 2 today. Or seem roughing away on the first pitch, off the plate, ball one. Curve ball down and in. Strike call, one and one. Here's him down in the way. Chopped up the third baseline, that's a fair ball. McStevens over, throw to second, got steal, throw to first, late. Almost got the double play. Two down, runner at first for Rush, who hit the two run bomb last time up on a hanging slider. He's also singled and stole a bag. He's doing it all for the sirloins today. Curveball away in the first pitch. Check strike. 0 1. Let's see in. Chased it inside. 0 2. Blew it by him. Heater up and away. Checked. Ooh, just went at Almost went at it. 1 2. Slider down and in. Blew it by him. Strike three. Second punch out for Alonzo. That ends the inning. Nice pitching, Archie. To the eighth, it's 4-2. Rodriguez, McStevens, and Collin are coming up. Wasn't there a report that we wanted to build a train on the moon? I believe there was at one point. <laughs> Here's Rodriguez, one for three with a double today. Contact was lefty, still active for the 10's DH. K staying out there. Peter up and in, that's a strike, 0-1. Fun fact, they did not give Jones an error on that bad throw. <laughs> it's still counted as a hit. That is a legitimate home run for Charlie Lopez. That's the first of his season. Two-seamer down in the way, strike called, 0-2. Heater up, whiff through it, strike three. Fourth punch out for Kays. One down, here's McStevens. One for two with a two-run homer today. Sack fly last him up for Beefcake. Whiffed on that heater, down and in, 0-1. He has a solo home run to his credit, that's right. Curveball hangs high, and we missed it. Sky ball into center. Rush under it already, and that should be the second out of the inning. It is. Cat dropped that. I did see that. I did. <laughs> not bad, Rook. Not bad. Calling her up on fire. One for two with an RBI. Sack fly last time up. He's also singled today and stolen a base. Change up up. That's a strike. Oh, one. That annoys me. Damn you and your high accuracy, Ks. Heater up and away. Fouled off. Oh, two. To be fair, would you want to take away Charlie Lopez for that inside the park by giving an air? No. No, I wouldn't. <laughs> I had Colner, but I couldn't deal with his shit, his contract. Yeah, his contract is a bit unreasonable. Heater down in the way, grounded in the hole to third. First diving stanza, flipped it, the pitcher in time. That ends the inning, one, two, three for Kays here in the eighth. Bottom eight, it's four to two. Cook, stanza, and Jones do up. Alonzo's gonna come back out to start the eighth inning. We do have Zumar warming. Cook is on fire, two for three today with two singles. High pitch active here. Lloyd's been doing well so far here at the top of the lineup. Well, down and in on the first one. Strike called. Nice pitch. 0-1. The bender there from Alonzo. He's locked in. 
Get her down in the way. Grounder to short. Dowler charges. Rookie makes the play. One down. Oh, his contact, not his contract. Okay. Well, his contract is also a bit unreasonable, too. But, yes, his contact is abysmal. That's why I maxed out his uh, RBI hero trait, so when it does activate, mwah, that guy's going to be above 60 easy in contact. He's basically Cousins. <laughs> he takes all the money by being a free agent at the right time. All right, Kirk, hold on. Or would you also say Russell Wilson as well? He's doing the same thing. Oh, you're thinking of DeMarcus Cousins. My bad, that's right. Kirk got all the money from the Falcons. <laughs> well, down and in on the first pitch. Ripped the right field. A Wugley was on the slide. Nice pick, but it's a one hopper. That's a single for Stanza, her third hit of the day. She's on with one down for Jones. Over two with a walk. He's locked in, trying to make up for that fielding kerfuffle. Heater up and away from Alonzo. Runner goes. Throw down by Cuffingham is perfect. Almost got her. Stands a steal second. Cats first steal of the year. She's one for one. Good night, one boy. Take it easy, brother. <laughs> it's 11 here, asshat. All right, what's my excuse? It's 12 where I am. <laughs> All right, YouTube. Play nice. <laughs> Slider down, that's chop foul, out of play, one and one. Well down in the way. Jones hits it on the ground to first. Physique on the back end will take it to first. Two down. And that'll bring up Heimer Longbalo. 0 for three day for the cover athlete. <laughs> Slider down and in on the first one. Just low, ball one. Well, down in the way, in the dirt, good block there by uh, Cuffingham, 2-0. Slider up and away, ball three. Walk him. I'm not pitching to him. <laughs> All right, Archie, you're coming out, buddy. Good pitching, rookie, good pitching. Wiggins up 0 for 3 today. He's tense, but he does have max boosted RBI hero active. And for that, we need to go to our ace in the hole. It's Rufus Zumar. Rufus got the save last episode. He pitched four pitches, I believe, in that outing. 1-0 with a 5-19 ERA and a 185 whip. Five earned runs given up, three appearances, two starts, one relief appearance, one save. Eight and two-thirds innings pitched, 15 hits given up, a walk, a homer, eight strikeouts, and a batting average against a 395. It does feel like that sometimes, isn't it, Macho? <laughs> Let's see if we can deal with Wiggins. Crossed up is Zumar's trade, unfortunately. Runners at the corners, two down. We just need to get a force out somewhere. Tying run at first for the sirloins. Go ahead, run is at the plate. Work ball down in the way in the first pitch. Low and outside, ball one. Shooter down and in. Lined in the center, and Wiggins will come through with a slap base hit. That run will be charged to Alonzo. It is four to three. Tying run now in scoring position for Mick Steele. Two for three with two singles today. First pitch curveball down and in. That's a strike. Go one. Easy him up and away. Fouled back. It's 0-2. Football down and away. Fouled back off the end of the bat. 0-2. Where's him up and in? Chased it. Strike three. Zumar gets the punch out. He strands two. Good job, Rufus. One run in. It's 4-3 to the ninth. Physique, Lopez, and Dowler do up. The tension is palpable. <laughs> Peak physique leading off. Rookie at one for three with the double today. He's also struck out once. Locked in, though. Kay's trying to go for the complete game here. Heater chopped back. Knocked down by Kay's. Good reaction. He'll take the out himself. One down. Pitching is pretty legit these days. I'm trying. <laughs> it has to be with this bullpen. <laughs> Lopez up. Locked in. Inside the park home run last time up for Charlie Lopez. One for three. First homer of the year. And also his 12th RBI. <sighs> If he does it again, I'm going to laugh, but I don't think we're ever going to see that again. Curveball up, misses high on the first one, ball one. Change it down in the way. Oh, he's trying it. Fouled off, one and one. High change, misses, 2 1. Peter down, late swing, 2 2. Change boy, pulled over third, over the glove of Platoon, but it is a regular base hit as it goes right at Jones. One out knock for Charlie, his second hit of the day. Well, most of the time, you remember the bullpen for the Thumpers? Yeah, Tyler Tang. 
And oh, Orion Reed. Good God. Dilly Daller up, rookie 0 for 3 today, still looking for her first career hit. Runner goes on the first pitch. Pitch out. Lopez is dead to rights in second, and that's the second out of the inning. Charlie a 1 for two, 3 now on stolen base attempts this year. Two down, 1 0 count to Daller. Chase the change of below with the knees, 1 and 1. Curveball low and away, outside, 2 1. Heater up, chased it, 2 2. Change it down and then Daller out in front of it, 2 2. Checked. Oh, I almost chased it. My God. 3 2. That should have been a punch out. Full count offer. Heater away. Line to second. Right at Cook. And we're going to be hitless for the rookie. Bottom nine. It's 4 3. Adonimus platoon and rush to up against Zumar. He's going for the four out save. <sighs> Adonimus is pissed. 0 for 3 today. Intense. No pinch hitter coming. They want him to work out his problems at the plate. Two-seamer middle in, blew it by him on a big hack, a one. Slider up and away, outside, one and one. Forcing him down in the way. Lined to short, right at Dowler for the first out. Next up, platoon, 10, so for three today. Fork ball down and in on the first pitch, strike called, a one. Her ball up and in. Fouled off, 0-2. Oh, Where's Zumar up and away? Blew it by him, strike three. Got him to chase. Second punch out for Zumar. Two down in the inning. Last chance is Damian Rush, Mr. Do-It-All himself. Two for three with a two-run homer, a single. He's also stolen the base today. Struck out last time up. First pitch, curveball. Misses inside, thankfully, on the red ball there. Ball one. Where's Zumar down in the way? Check swing strike, one and one. Slider up and away. Chased it out of the zone. It's one and two. Don't blow this. There's so much pressure. Don't mention it. Zumar up and in. Blew it by him. Strike three. Zumar gets his third punch out. That ends the inning. One, two, three, ninth inning here. Platify slammed the door. Four, three, the final score as we defeat the Sirloins today. Sirloins fall to four and nine, and we improve to nine and three. Not bad for our only matchup we'll see of them this year. Not a lot of offense here, so if you were here for pitching, you got what you wanted. If you were here for wacky offense, you got what you wanted. If you were here for regular offense and a slobber knocker, well, you might want to look away. GG's, thank you guys, thank you, appreciate it. Uh, hit the lines for today, two solo home run for Beefcake McStevens. He also had a sack fly, sack fly for Hayam Colliner as well. And Charlie Lopez, a little league inside the park home run. The clip will be up on Reddit for you guys who are curious. On the other side for the Sirloins, only RBIs today. Had a single by Wiggins and a two-run bomb from Damian Rush. Uh, and that was it. Only nine, only 17 combined hits for both clubs. Not a lot of offense today. Winning pitchers, Rusty Nozzle, five innings plus, six hits, two earned runs, a walk, five strikeouts, and a homer. He improves the two and one on the year, keeping his ERA under three. Archie Alonzo in his debut, rookie goes two and two-thirds, giving up an earned run on two hits, two strikeouts, and a walk. He gets the hold, and Rufus Samar inning in a third for his second consecutive save. He's up to two for two now on the year. One hit given up with three strikeouts. On the other side, Manny Kays, it's a complete game loss for the veteran, for the ace relief, for ace Veteran ace pitcher, there we go. Eight hits given up, four earned runs on two homers, and four strikeouts. He falls to one and three, again, failing to get any run support from his offense. We won this from a Charlie Lopez fluke home run. Please kill me. I can't take this shit no more, man. <laughs> oh. Damian Rush, player of the game for the two-run homer, followed by Beefcake McStevens with his uh, solo homer and sack fly, and then Manny Kays with his complete game uh, loss is the third place finisher. See, they knew it was so much of a fluke for Charlie, he doesn't even make the top three. Not bad, not bad. A win's a win. We don't ask questions, we just move on. We inv invited you some new gear. Who do you bring as your plus one? Nozzle. Dude, earned it. Swolson didn't even play today. You've taken the last pack of Breathmans. Who do you make restock it? Uh, Sawyer disappointed in his start. Dowler was hitless today. 
Moving forward, Sawyer is more valuable with his use. So, Dal, you can eat this one. All right, perfect. Looking around at roster moves and any regressions, please be gentle. Please be... All right, so one roster, a couple roster moves. Track Statsman is going to the Freebooters to split time with Oakley Stiffs in right field. Pomp Ducci has been cut from the roster. If I didn't already have Peak Physique, that would be a man I would go after right there. What a move. My God, I did not expect that. <laughs> Oh, uh, Lawai, your thoughts, please. I, I beg you. <laughs> they cut Pomp. One boy's going to have a field day with this. <laughs> Moving up. Uh, sirloins. They do not cut Filet Jones. They cut K.O. Neomo from the back of their rotation. They go get rookie Warren Yout, the workhorse. He will be now as their number four starting pitcher. Interesting move. GG's, Lawai. GG's. <laughs> Indeed. Thank you. Appreciate it. Colliner gets plus three contact. Speaking of his crap contact, it's going up on its own. Rusty Nozzle, after that performance, plus seven velocity. Finding some life in that injury-prone right shoulder. Love to see that. She is really fast indeed. Yeah, man, she can fly, can't she? Jeez. And that's it. Noodle arm? Yeah, no thanks, Sky. I mean, you never play the field, so maybe this wouldn't be a bad upgrade to get you. <laughs> Ooh, volatile for in the air. I don't know how I feel about that. All right, anyway, player development. What do we got? Okay. So we could go get in the airs, but it's got two games on it, so we can wait. Same with Sawyer. Rory Crowds. This is the one that we're going after next. Uh, this one's dumb. We're not giving you Noodle Arm Sky. I'm just... No. No. <laughs> not worth it. I mean, yeah, you're never going to play the field, but no. And she's like 42. Like, what? She's, I uh, think... Actually, we just looked at that. Uh, She is 38. 38. She's the same age as Charlie Lopez, and he's fast as well. All right, but yeah, we're buying this one for Roy Crowds. Uh, ooh, that's a good one for Sawyer. A chance to get consistent on a starter. That'd be nice. And extra accuracy is always good for Sawyer, too. That's here for three games. I like that. We can build up our reserves for those. But yeah, we're definitely getting this one for Crowds. Three contact to 49. Bonus three. No, we didn't get lucky. Steeler? He's got good speed. He got Steeler. Are you kidding me? <laughs> He's a B- minus now. Good job, Rory. Unfortunately, we have no crafty players, so the Steelers only get the minimum boost, but that's going to move his speed above 70. He's a legitimate base stealing threat now. Good job, Rory. No worries, no worries. Way to go, young buck. Alrighty, let's move on to the next one here. Let's sim up to it, see what's moving on in the league. Freebooters, after adding track stats, man, they hold on to win. 7-6, to six. they almost blew it. Oakley Stiffs drives in the game-winning run. Hot corner shut out the buzzards, 7-0. That's wonderful. Moonstars crush the wild pigs, not interested. Blowfish drop to the sandcats, ooh. Overdogs beat the beebles for us, thank you, Overdogs. Appreciate it. Jacks lose to the heaters, 2-0. Not ideal, but they're in last place, no worries here. Sawteeth lose to the grapplers, not happy with that. 5-3. Wide loads taken on the nemesis, nemesis rally, but lose in 15 innings, 5-3, as Olaf Beerson wins it. And then the Sirloins choke it to the Sirloins 4-3 to three in 10 innings, followed by the Moose crushing the Sandcats 7-2. to two. Okay, so we are half game out of first, looking to keep pace with the Wide Lids here in a matchup against the Jacks next time out. On the mound would be Alberto Roberto, the veteran, 0-1 with a 238 ERA and a 115 whip. And on the mound for us will be our ace, Ace Von Asen, 3-0 and with a 154 ERA and a 107 whip. Love it. Spirited players are on the market. That is a good question. Let's have a look. What do we got? All right, so Tamale is crafty, so he's no use to us. Tomahawking is scholarly. What am I doing? Chemistry. Okay, so spirited players. Spike Pena, the long reliever, 36. Uh, Yanagi High Eye with K Neglector. I'm pretty set in the starting rotation right now, so really the only spot available is Rusty Nozzle, and Nozzle is actually pitching really well, so he's a pass. There is Rob Hurlington, the fourth, RH4. Mr. Consistent, as we like to call him, one half of the twin brothers. Uh, there's Brent Branch, who's another reliever we've been looking at closely there in the free agent pool. 
possible signing to replace maybe Zumar, but Zumar is pitching well now that he's in the bullpen, so maybe we hold back on that. Keo Neomo, who was just released, so we got to wait for her price to come down. Cartman. Yips Frazzler, backup shortstop. We already have Dilly Dowler, so pass. Backup first baseman, Duder El Dorino. Uh, left fielder, Pooch Ponderosa, who could be assigning to replace maybe Studwick at some point, but can't play any of the other outfield positions, so pass. There is third baseman Smokey Ash, who would be a good backup to replace possibly Sky Rodriguez. And there's also backup catcher Scout Goderone. And then moving to Discipline, which was the trait uh, that I would like to upgrade and bring back to Tier 3, we could sacrifice either a scholarly or a competitive player for this. We have Burl Chenning, hard pass. Sluggy Boomhauer would be a good option for right field when we have to put O'Wugliams behind the plate. Draculo, pass. I love Bart, but not here. Strider, hard pass. Sponge Dryden, hard, hard pass. Although RBI Hero is tempting. RBI Hero on a backup catcher. Hold on a second now. <laughs> that would have, not only would that boost our discipline traits to tier 3, that would also boost our spirited his spirited trait to tier three. Oh my god, he'd be a massive pinch hitter upgrade. Ha 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 Ooh, we have options. Charlemagne Charleston, hard pass. Sign Blinder would have max boosted rally stopper. I'm set in the bullpen though. <laughs> the only option up is Zumar, and I'm not cutting him yet, so. Unfortunate pass. Eddie Stedson would also be an option. He has consistent. That would be max boosted. Eh, 35. We're, again, there's no spot in the bullpen right now. Walter Walter, backup outfielder, possibly. He would replace uh, probably... No, that would be Studwick. Yep. He would have maxed out Dive Wizard, but he's already a great fielder, so it's kind of a moot point. Linda Hand, who we just cut. Hugh Jacobs, who we cut earlier. Same with Walt Huckster. So really, the Dryden one is the one that would be the most interesting. I'm going to put him on here now for the disciplined upgrade, maybe even Boomhauer. Those two are the ones that draw my attention. And then the other option for Spirited would probably be Smokey Ash to replace Sky Rodriguez. The only reason I wouldn't make that move is that although Smokey, Smokey is basically the polar opposite of Sky. He can't hit, but he can field like a genius. But with the way Beefcake is playing this year, we don't need him to move into the field anytime soon. And that would put Beefcake at shortstop. <laughs> with Dilly Daller. Yeah, not much for position players. They've been flying off the free agent pool like hotcakes here. Still, put him on the list. We'll look at it later. But yeah, that's all we really got out there. So there's not a lot of roster moves we can possibly make right now. I'm sure someone could point it out to me in the comments section later, but... Right now, I'm not interested in making any roster moves at this time. I'm kind of tapped out for that at the current moment. Especially with how well we're playing, I don't see a need to cut Studwick yet. Same with uh, Lopez. Neither of them have regressed terribly badly. And Zumar's pitching well now that he's moved into the bullpen. So those three are the three that I would like to move on from right now. And right now, there's no need to get rid of them. The only other option is Tugboat. We could possibly get rid of Tugboat and bring in Dryden now. That's the other option. But that's discipline for discipline, so that kind of is a moot point. So it doesn't improve what I wanted to improve. But yeah, so lineup for next episode, it'll be Studwick in left leading off, then O'Wugliams in right, uh, cuffing him at catcher. Beefcake McStevens will be locked in at third base, then it's Colliner locked in in center. Kaufman at second, Physique in f at first, and Lopez batting eighth at shortstop with Ace Von Asen on the mound. And we will have the Jacks wear their alternates. I actually do like their alternate jerseys, so we'll have them come out and we'll wear our cream-colored ones. Hopefully we play better with them next time coming up. But that is going to... Someone's been sacrificing virgins for Lopez or something. <laughs> Must be. That's the only thing I can think of. <laughs> How does that explain the Little League home run today? <laughs> oh, on that note, that's going to do it for today's episode, guys. If you made it this deep, thanks so much for sticking around. I appreciate the support, as always. If you haven't already, hit the follow and or subscribe buttons down below here on Twitch to be notified next time I go live. And if you haven't already, over on YouTube, leave a like, leave a comment, subscribe to the channel. Link to Twitch is down in the description below if you guys want to come over and watch the games live before they're posted. And also follow me over on this platform as well if you so choose. Quick shout-outs here to Macho, the Y. 
one boy wild dog all for chatting here today with me loved hearing from you guys as always and listening to you guys argue from time to time it was fantastic and you guys got to see a funny clip that'll end up on reddit with charlie lopez somehow by the grace of god getting an inside the park home run in the only way charlie lopez could get an inside the park home run <laughs> uh but that is going to do it for me tonight guys until next time this is the nasty one signing off have a wonderful day evening or afternoon ready guys maybe take care everybody